SSG versus Dolos, that Lucy might not always be the best pick against Polomar. Absolutely. I, I think that's something you can you can definitely see, uh, especially when you look at people like Clarinet, who still managed to make it work, you know, dropping those Paloma ultimates constantly. You can still set up kind of that tank wall, that fortress -y comp, and still do what you need to do. Uh, that being said, I mean, God off on Lucy is a whole other thing. Oh, yeah. An, an entirely different monster. Dizzler on the Thorn. I love this flex pick where he sort of flexes the melee specifically to pick Thorn. And then you've actually got Vague on the Jumong. A bit of an interesting adaptation. You'd usually pin that hero on Dizzler. But of course, they are making the melee hero adaptation here. Oh, yeah. It's going to be very good. Uh, I would expect uh, God of doesn't die in this game a single time. Really? I'm going to say that. I think it's going to take a while for the uh, Korean team. Have you learned nothing from Naraga's wager on LAN? Yeah, what? Eh. <laughs> 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 eh. Yeah, he Some has, other time. he's been wrong so many times before. <laughs> so he's going to be wrong now. He plays Pearl. What does he know? Yeah, exactly. Indeed. Can't trust him fundamentally. He throw most one, me support. <laughs> Place bubble, big brain. Yeah. Exactly. It, it, bubble is a very good ability from Pearl. Just completely splits the whole map apart. It's like putting a wall there. It's very it's very impressive. <laughs> Alright, and we're gonna get into the game right now. Get hyped. All right, here we are, Impact versus Cinebro. Game one, of course, Cinebro being Natty, Three, Puma, two, and uh, one, oh, can't quite read his name, Thorn player, uh, Lobster Lifer. And then over on Impact, of course, we do have God of Fake and Dizzler larger than life. Most people consider them to be e easily the top team from Europe. Going in very aggressive is Puma already. I love his forward positioning with the Destiny, really holding Vague, forcing him to respond to that. That being said, Vague's pressure uh, returning with that Jumong is pretty ridiculous. Oh yeah, the pressure with Vague is pulling off with, with Jumong. Yeah. And just these were pushing forward, and look at the position of impact. It's like it's a Bermuda triangle. You get in the middle of us, you just disappear. I feel like you know uh, Cinebro there really came out swinging. You saw that aggressive positioning of Puma wow. at the start, try and get right in the middle of them. It was kind of like a mosquito that went up to impact, and they just just swatted yeah. them down. There was not much to talk about there. Uh, it feels like they ran directly into a brick wall yeah. when they tried to play aggressive. That's the play style of impact. What I know, it, it yep. very scary. These are not thorn. It's it's not a joke. Yep. <laughs> This there. is not a video game anymore. No, it's real life. <laughs> it's real life. Real life, son. When you, when you get knocked up by Burrow in the game, you get yeah. knocked up by Burrow Diesler in real life. is going to show you the world. <laughs> He's going to put you in the air on a magic yeah. carpet. I'm excited. <laughs> He's going to be good. Well, we will see if the, if, Three, if, if the South two, Korean team here, Sinopro, will adapt and find out the way to stop the impact pressure. I love this way that Vague is playing this early. He's definitely been watching these guys play. Puma at the start loves to sort of post up behind that Destiny wall. So Vague, the moment he sees him dismount, immediately just drops that Reign of Arrows for instant value. And we see it here. Cinebro is being pushed back so far. Great grip by Dizzler as well. Completely relocates the Paloma. He evades the panic. They've used the Barb Hus as well. And look at Dizzler just farming energy right here. He's got the Thorn Ultimate on deck already. Vague's just spamming the back line. This is, this is some beautiful play uh, coming out from Impertons, but... They're looking a bit, a bit unhealthy here. It's, it's, uh, Zidane, Pro, Zidane Pro doing a good job, and it looks like they have stabilized in the game and, and found out a way to stop the impact pressure. Very impressive. Yeah, absolutely. The way they want to play is to sort of establish themselves in this bottom corner with the Destiny wall to stop a lot of the pressure that's going to come out from Vague, but it seems like a lot of the time Dizzler not really letting them, and the ultimate is going to come out, force the other side as well, as Puma being locked down, and there's the goop. The swap is not, oh, only barely going to be able to get him out, but here right. comes Dizzler with a follow. Meanwhile, it's just lobster life going down. Yeah. Uh, so a couple of misplays there from from Paloma. Um, well, uh, being in the Lucid Goo is for always a misplay. You don't want to be there. In, in, it's in, not a great idea. Yeah, it's in not general, a great, yeah. idea, great idea. But great he was idea. trying to use the swap, but he had ultimate. He could have just used the ultimate there and spam most one, and he could have been able to tank the ultimate for him and his mm -hmm. teammate easily. But I, I think uh, they're gonna adapt and improve. Jolt has gotten confused because I've moved him slightly so that I can also see the laptop, and he didn't like that very much. We've been pushed away from the station. Oh, I see how it is. At this rate, I'm going to be on the other way of the hall. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you've been quite a diva ever since you got your own trailer, wow. I must say. The Rico is so big. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let's get back to the game. It's going to be a uh, pull coming out from Thorn. It's actually a very good start uh, for Sinopro here, but right now, uh, Vague has everything with Chumong. He's able to dodge damage and 
Uh, and roll, roll coming out from Lucy, if they're able to punish Lucy here, it's gonna be very nice. But no, instead, Deezer and Wake is just gonna stand in front and block the damage for his teammate. Yeah, we've talked so much about sort of Jumog's necessity to build up the stacks, build up that energy, and Vague has it all here. He has the entire toolbox, and it feels like he can just absolutely go to town. Doesn't manage to evade. Nice lockdown by the Thorn over there. Uh, Puma trying to go ham. He's holding on to that ultimate as well. We know he loves using it. Wow. The R, not terribly effective. And look at Dizzler just cutting their team in half. Paloma on that. the run has no utilities left. That's that's a, that's a very nice play. That's just, it's just so textbook. Battle ride coming out from Impact. They, they are punishing when they see, all right, there's no cooldowns. What are we going to do? Let's just kill this guy right here. Exactly. And and there's no response for from Xenobro. They they have Husk and they have a Destiny EX1 for Poloma, but that's it. Yeah. The impact is just going to chew through. On our car ride over to DreamHack, you know, you and I were talking about it a little bit, watching people like Vague play the game, where it just seems like he sort of gets to see everybody's cooldowns floating above their heads at all times. He just seems to track what people are doing so, so yeah. well, and the punish from Impact is always just impeccable. Yeah, absolutely. He's, he's, the, he's the prodigy of Battle Royale. He's very good, and he's very young still, so... He will definitely show us some great Battle Royale also in the future. Being able to switch these players in, in Impact Vague and these were switching roles, yeah. no problem. And Godof also is a very respectable melee player, range player. It's just the team overall is it's insanely good player-wise. Man, Lobster Lifer got, pulled, uh, got pushed out so hard when he tried to play aggressive. It seemed like he was trying to take a feather out of Dizzler's cap a little bit, play a very aggressive thorn, and he just got smacked down completely. Now Puma trying to duel Vague, but he's caught between him and Lucy. Beautiful other side. Oh, the other side is forced, but it is nice. nice. And then the ulti as well. Yeah, but Thorn's gonna ulti out. Expected it. All right, but still, not major damage has been done yet. But it looks like Impact has the middle control, and, and that's very crucial in a match like this. Yeah, absolutely. And oh, look at that. Other uh, side has already been forced. The goo is going to cut him in half. Oh, but beautiful nice. ES base. Yeah, very but nice. But look at this. Vague is ready with Rain of Arrows. He was always ready. I love his Rain of Arrows placements as well. It's really, it's such a punish tool with Jumong. You know, a lot of people have this misconception that you use it sort of for, sort of for poke or for damage. You can use it for energy game, but it's really best used to catch somebody when they're trying to run or catch somebody when they're trapped uh, by a teammate or, or in your bear trap. It's just such a powerful punish ability. And yeah. Vague just pumping the damage that round was a little bit ridiculous. Dizzler, of course, yeah. just putting on a clank. Uh, I don't want to sound rude or anything, but it will be nice if the Koreans are able to get at least one kill. You're really going full discount Naraga here, aren't no, you? No, no, no. <laughs> I think uh, it, it's the first step of improving. True. And the next game, they take one round, and the last game, they just win. Three, Absolutely. Two, I, I think you're right. One, and, it, and it's clear that these guys, again, we've seen them be able to sort of adapt and, and, and change the way that they play. Yeah. I wouldn't put it past them. Absolutely. It's, it's very, very nice to see this uh, South Korea play. And, and Oh, very nice house coming out from this land. The Rain of Arrows this is a very bad spot to be at. You don't oh, want yeah. to be in the corner in any case against Jumong. And look at this. Puma taking a lot of damage but spamming the EX1 to get shields. He's playing so confidently as Destiny, but it's just not working out. I feel like his forward position just leaves him so open to massive punish by Vague with assistance from Godov with like those panic blasts. A nice counter by him as well. Yeah. Godov is going to get his blast counter, but that here goes the, the clarity dispel is gross. And That's Godov aggressively class. rolled. You see that? He wanted that yeah. kill so bad. Wow. Wow. This is everyone is just dying slowly. Those dispels from Godov also petrifies and the team itself is working so well together at punishing and dealing damage overall to uh, people Red team uh, impact overall a very good team and and i bet it's gonna be very fun also for the cinema to play against a, a team like impact i think you can learn a lot from that you know we've we've noted that one of maybe the issues not maybe not so much south america anymore as a lot of people were sort of forced to eat their words after uh, you know a couple of series yeah. ago but i think one of the greatest things about an international competition like this is that you can play against a team like Impact and you can learn some things and you can see what they do and then you can kind of take those ideas and bring them into your own play and bring them back to your own region and show people like why what Impact does is so effective. You yeah. know what I mean? So being in a game with these guys has its own has its own value to it, absolutely. Yeah. It's, um, well, you know. Uh, maybe maybe uh, Sinopro has some, some kind of a team comp uh, what will work. Maybe they're not going to stick with the same comp. Um, I don't know. I've, I haven't seen these guys play before. It's very hard to predict what they're going to pull off. 
I'm fairly certain these guys in the past have stuck to, to pretty much one comp, which is that Paloma okay. Destiny Thorn. It, it's what they consider to be uh, sort of the main thing that they run, and they can definitely pop off on it. I think Puma, in particular, on that Destiny, has a lot of interesting things that he's that he's doing with that hero. His counter timings are quite nice. He catches a lot of major abilities, doesn't really spend it on things that aren't that important, like yeah. the single M1s. Uh, his positioning tends to be very aggressive, which is very interesting to watch. He reminds me a little bit of, like, a verse playing Destiny when Destiny was very broken, where you could kind of move forward very aggressively, get in the enemy's face really yeah. hard. That's, uh, that's actually what Robbers was good for. Mm -hmm. Pick the OP hero and stick with it. And, and that's actually very good to be able in, in Battle Royale to notice what is good in the current meta and just go with it. Absolutely. And, and follow the meta and find the meta. You are basically, if you win a tournament, you're the man, you're the team who determines the meta because you find it, right? And, and uh, I don't know. Is, is Sinapro able to find their own thing with this comp? Are they gonna be able to just maybe maybe do it against the impact so that they are able to push them away, get out of our spawn, don't come here, and, no, and okay. get the middle? I don't know. It didn't. It didn't look like there was too much hope for that comp, yeah. at least against what Impact had. And again, Impact, you know, obviously having done their research, kind of crafted that specifically with a way to beat Cinebro. I think because that comp on every level. The only real question mark there is like how the thorns match up, but we know how the thorns match yeah. up. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's yeah. it, it, like Dizzler, it's yeah. Dizzler on Thorn, you know? Putting Vague on the Jumong is very interesting, but I think Jumong against Destiny we've seen can be a little bit back and forth, but there are players like Jurgen who have showed us that there's a way to play it where you really seem to succeed. Yeah, indeed, indeed. Uh, it's, it's not going to be an issue for Vague to uh, switch switch heroes this quickly from from melee to range, because he learns very quickly. It's, he, he's very good at absorbing information and, and understanding the game, how to play it. And, uh, well, Oh, here we have, hold up, there we go. So, Vague and Dizzler is a very good combination. Yeah. With, with Godov there in the back line, he's, he's, he's the grandfather of the team. Mm -hmm. These two players know that Godov is behind them, that they can just keep going on, and Godov is not going to die. He's not going to die alone, even if he gets pressured. Um, and they, it allows these players to be in the most comfortable zone, and they, they don't need to worry about anything except, except themselves. And that's the perfect, perfect combination of a team. Yeah, I love the, I love talking about kind of the dynamic of it because I think you know early in the stages of a game, a lot of people do it the injustice of thinking about oh, it's just it's just in the game. You know, it's just about tapping the dude in the head uh, until he takes enough damage that he dies. You know, and and in reality, it's a lot of of. It's a little bit of that. Yeah. It's, it's a good amount of that. But there's a lot of other factors at play, and I think you talking about sort of the, the team dynamic of these guys, having Vague, who is a very young player, and having these these uh, more mature players who can kind of contain that. Mm. You know what I mean? Who can who can shape that in a way where it works. And you see it here, and I, I think absolutely the way God of plays is just the pick, the, like the pinnacle of consistency. Yeah. Right? And we've seen that from a lot of different European supports. Uh, credit to your region, of course. You know, you got people like Randler here, representing yeah. who I think always has to be mentioned in a conversation, even though regrettably he's not, yeah. he's not here. You know, you think of people like that and you put you put God of in the same sort of area where he is just the rock of a team yeah and, and definitely he can, he can bring them across the finish line yeah these kind of players like Randler and God of they're able to bring the whole team together yeah uh, and God of is the type of a player who's able to make any team work I think he's he's the grandfather of the team mm -hmm. and it would it must be very nice to play with God of he's very chill he's just all smiles everywhere and he, he's not stressing about anything he's Absolutely. perfect so we do see a comp change from uh, both teams, actually. I was not expecting this. I, I kind of erred on the way that uh, there wouldn't be a comp change, but it does look like we oh. have a comp change from both Cinebro and Impact. Impact is going to be running the Lucy Verish Rook, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Vague, of course, on the Rook, Dizzler on the Verish, which should be a, a joy to watch. And then on the yeah. side of Cinebro, we have Blossom Jumong Rook, which is not what I would have expected. Yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting. Uh, they definitely had something in the pocket. I would, there's no way they would have come to this tournament with only one comp. That's shooting yourself in the leg. Uh, but hey, I, the, I love always seeing Blossom. Blossom at the moment, very good. But seeing Rook in the enemy team, it's going to be very hard for Blossom to do anything. Rook is just going to get so much energy by throwing AoE stuff into the tree and getting full energy from that way. It's, we're probably going to see an ultimate coming out from Rook. Yeah, his pressure in general yeah. against the Blossom just always seems a little bit ridiculous. All right, we're heading right into the game. Get ready.
right. Here we go. Here we are, game two, Impact versus Cinebro. We've had some serious comp Three, changes, two, and I like a lot of what one, I've seen. Uh, Vague on Rook in particular. Vague already a very aggressive melee player is really going to be allowed to do his thing this game, and he goes right in. Yeah, he's, he's all about the damage and aggressiveness. He's not here to waste any time. He's here to, he's here to brawl. And meanwhile, look, Puma taking a lot of damage. He's standing still. What is going on? He's, uh, he's get eating a full plate of that upset -y spaghetti, Jolts. He got gone on by Vague, he got judgmented by Dizzler, and that was uh, pretty much all she wrote. Oh, wow. Where's Puma spaghettis? I lost them. It's unfortunate. Oh, but hey, I, I, don't, I don't know if he has played Rook uh, in this tournament yet, so it might be just a... It might need to adjust a bit. Maybe. It's a learning period. Yeah. I, I love the way it shows you what kind of a player Vague is, where the first charge, first charge and yeah, he, just go. Yeah, he's not going to fake cast. Just go. Yep. Uh, he's not that type of a player. He he always, well, the most things what the impacts are, are doing is that they, they don't fake cast until they notice that, okay, he's not reacting or he's, he's starting to actually counter my stuff. Then they put the mind Three, games in. Two, but they one, first are just going to go very basic, just all out in without fake cast. Oh, here we go. First fake cast. Now he's fake casting. Okay, he's switching it up. He's bamboozling us. I like the way Puma sort of responded with some aggression of his own in an attempt yeah. to just force them off, to show them who's boss a little bit. And I think that's good when you are playing against a team like Impact. It is important to sort of assert yourself and to have confidence when you play. Gonna get the middle up. It's going to be Impact, and that's going to hurt Xenobro here quite a lot. And hitting the counter of Vague, that's very bad. Dodging the most too. Slight lack of coordination there. God of Scoot doesn't go to a whole lot of use, but Veg on the run yet again. Blossom has no space. Veg definitely smells blood in the water, but is not going to choose to pursue. A uh, Dizzler on Varus seems wow, to have been just one v 2 that entire time. That was a very nice ultimate coming out uh, from Lobs Alive. And here we can also see that they switch roles. Uh, player switching roles is not something you see every day. And it, it's very respectable. It's very respectable to see that happen. I think it's quite smart, especially in an environment like this. If you have players who, who play a specific hero a lot better, you know, we saw Aklo come up on the desk and give his interview kind of talking about how Ruben will switch roles He's quite dead. frequently. Oh, oh look Five. at that. I thought Blossom would die, but instead it was Rook. But it, this just shows how good of a team impact is. And it's not to be taken lightly yep. in any, any case. Uh, Wow, how did that... <laughs> oh my god, he's a beast. Excuse me, excuse me, you can do that with Blossom? <laughs> I didn't like know that. I thought that when you deflect something, reflect something with the blow, it will go directly to the target back you, uh, who casted it. But instead, here we saw Rook getting feared. I think you can direct it. Well, clearly you can, but yeah. I learned Isn't something it? new. Wow. Well, when I started playing Blossom, I had 10% win rate. Nice. Now I have 50. It's improvement. <laughs> it's, it's definitely improvement. Yeah. I, I can't argue three, with the numbers, Joel. Two, need to be one, positive. <laughs> All right, here we go, round three. Let's see if, if Puma is going to get answer to the aggressiveness of Vague somehow. Unfortunately, the counter is not going to be broken into the fear. This is very bad for us. You know, bro, having their Rook in the back line is not, is not good. It's not good for the team. Um, Look oh. at Lobster Lifer, like the entire time the Jumong was it was just pushed so far back and oh man. Vague, he's forced back a little bit. The Boom Bloom stun is gonna land as well. And that's a decent amount of damage on the side of Vague. Vague manages to throw his M2 second. So he kind of wins the trade in that Rook Mirror in general. But a great goof from God of is doing do a huge amount of damage. Look at that, he even manages to knock it back with the silence, with the yeah. boulder. Oh, he's gotten so chunked. What a sick combo play from Impact. Yeah. I hear we can see both Rook players being low HP. Oh, it's big ultimate coming out from Lobster Life, and it looks like Vague is in trouble. Ultimate oh. coming out from Puma. Pick it around, maybe. This is looking very good for them, but Puma is very low. Ultimate coming out. <gasps> Never mind. Never mind. I'll show you some in caps, baby. Got canceled. Nice. Jolts, you were out here betting that nobody was going to die. What's going on? It was for the first game only. Oh, first I didn't game say only? for the second game. First game only? Yeah, it was for the first game only. Oh, okay. I understand. Wow, that was very nice to see. The ultimate coming out from Jumon. Very nice. I liked it. It was a heads up play to just go ahead and snapshot that. I think. Uh, a, le a less manly man than Lobster Lifer would have just shot it at the orb. Yeah. But he decided he was going big. He's, he, I'm just going to hit Rook. It doesn't matter if he has a counter or most two. I'm going to throw it there. Throw it. And it, it worked out. It exactly. worked. You're creating space. You need to take risks at a high level battle, right? It's not always about Three, just like doing two, what is the most textbook thing ever. You got to take risks. 
And, and, and that was a very good risk take. Very Unless, nice. of course, you're Hot Biscuit, in which case you're just a machine designed to play ranged optimally. Yeah, he, yeah, indeed. <laughs> it's an insane bot. Easy bot. Or, oh, wow, the base of space hits the wall. That's very unfortunate. I'm getting it done. But meanwhile, Puma is actually punishing Vague. And Vague is being completely alone here in the bottom, getting hit by Dragon Slayer. Uh, oh wow, what a petrify from Godov coming out. Look at that Varish ultimate follow up as well. Vague actually managing to create quite a lot of space for his team as Blossom is forced to space as well. Now Dizzler's on the Look, case here. The follow up, there isn't any. He has that gust recast. Really oh. interesting stuff. Never seen that. It is. It is I've never seen that in a, in a Battle Royale tournament before. Yeah. And uh, it actually worked out there. Puma has some issues here. Or is he... Pa pause. Oh, Trying to pause. Yeah, there were some issues going on there. Puma standing still, unfortunately. Um, I always have kind of problems, but it's fine. I, as, as I said earlier, it's because I'm here. I'm the black cat. Unfortunate. Yeah. You're the curse. I bring the bad luck. Ah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But so far, uh, they can pick up a fight. They can definitely turn this around. Because the first game was just testing the waters and at the speed the Sinopro is able to adapt. I think they will be able to do something very big in this game. They already got one round and, and this one looked very promising too. Uh, but due to some bad positioning, he, the Blossom kind of just died. Yeah, I agree. Like the way they sort of tread that line, especially around the Blossom, it is a riskier pick that we've seen. It's great in sort of that sieging style where you want to be throwing those Boom Blooms constantly. Think of how Red Cannons played it, you know, looking for the weakening M1, just the Boom Bloom, the big impact as well, being able to block a lot of key abilities yeah. with the tree. You want to sort of set up like that. The moment you're forced around on Blossom, you're forced to defensively space like that, suddenly you're kind of in the danger zone all of a sudden. An impact, I mean, a team that's great at capitalizing on that, even though we've seen Vague in particular get smacked around a little bit in some of these games. Cheater shirt. The oh, Gitter shirt. There it is. Young Sun. Insane represent. Yes. Look at that. Team. Oh, team where Young can I get? Where can I get one? I, I need one right now. That's ASAP. Very beautiful. Oh, I saw that. You're disgusting. Yeah. Get out. Wow. Unbelievable. Somebody's now dabbing. He's Somebody's he's dabbing. Crying. Somebody's dabbing in the audience. He's, maybe he's following my lead. Oh, see what you've done. You you have. You're impressionable. This is why you're a, a staple of the battle royale community. Look what you've done. P pe people follow you. People care about what you do, Joel. I'm you've done sorry. this to us. I did not mean it much. Create chaos. Much? And confusion. Oh, wow. <laughs> Was getting caught part of your plan. <laughs> You're a big guy. <laughs> Memes. <laughs> Born to meme. Anyways, uh, do, you, do you think personally that Sinabro is able to do something here? I think it's kind of unlikely. I think you you see, uh, I mean, all the teams here are, are here because they're supposed to be, you know, and a lot yeah. of teams here are very capable, as we've seen. Uh, I think Impact, uh, in a lot of these games, maybe they've been overplaying their hand a little bit at certain times. You know, they find an advantage in Vegas, like, all right, we're just going to use all the buttons here, see what happens, yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And, and every once in a while, it, it won't necessarily go your way. So I, I think there's definitely a, an, an aspect of that that may have contributed to that one little blue dot over on the left side of your screen. But uh, other than that, I'm not too sure. Impact just looking so standard as usual. So stay, uh, I mean, their play, like you, yeah. like you mentioned, it's just textbook. It's you track the cooldowns, you see what the enemy team is doing, and then you compensate for it. Oh, nice. This camera works. <laughs> is it is good? Re really solid. Must be nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, it's yeah. team, team Grandpa. Look at the, here. yeah, it's Godof. It's, it's Godof there. Look at him. Godof. Yes, man. He's smiling. He's all smiles. He's having fun. That's my there boy. Look at him. Yeah. That's, that's exactly what you should do. When you get to play in a stage like this, you, you are here to have fun. Exactly. Look at that goatee. Godov's just born to be the life of the party. Absolutely. You know what I mean? This is a team impact right there. Looking very handsome, very good, very, very collected. The model team. Um, well, um, after this, it's going to be Young Sung versus... Uh, Black Dragons. Right? Absolutely. A pretty interesting series. I, I think, you know, after watching uh, Red Cannons play, I'm yeah. I'm just going to watch the game. I'm not going to make any predictions because right. I, I really feel like there's a lot of interesting things that they bring to the table, a lot of interesting ideas that I'm really excited to sort of explore in that game as well. But I mean, Young Sung taking down Impact yeah. a, at all. I mean, yeah. How, how, how do you think how that How a team who's playing this well right now lost to Young Sung? That's my question. How did it happen? I mean, what what does Young Sung look like then? Indeed, it's, you know? it's, it's 
it's baffling. Oh. Unbelievable. All right, Nin Ninja's like we're back in the game, land, you know. Back in the game. Get to watch more Battle Riot. I love watching Battle Riot. It's like my Very favorite nice. thing. Very nice. Absolutely. I think right. the way that impact as well sort of synergizes uh, between their range and the melee, you see it a lot, and I think it's one of the more important parts of competitive battle, right, is you see the melee players a lot of the time go for sort of these flashy 2v1s in the back line, you know what I mean? But I think a component of playing melee at a very high level of, of, of threes competition Three, is not only two, playing the back line one. properly, but knowing when to rejoin with your teammates. And you'll see Vague and Dizzler combo off of each other really, really well. Oh, yeah. The Varish debuffs and, and Rook CC. Yeah, absolutely. And here we can also see that Dizzler is very good at just playing with the melee going with the melee all the time and yep. following the, with the damage. It's, it's very nice, yeah. And, and look, Vague is taking a lot of damage. He's okay, he's in the pocket, he's comfortable. Yeah. Nice counter Beautiful by Blue, counter catches that M2 out. as well. That's a big tempo swing for the side of yeah. Blue, though they don't manage to secure that orb. Impact of a slight HP deficit. Yeah, definitely, it, it can affect the... Since, oh wow, issues again. Oh, wow, this is so here? unfortunate. This is very sad to see, playing in a tournament like this and uh, having issues. It's, it's unfortunate. And uh, I actually have a story. I used to play in Bloodline Champions 2011 summer, uh, land tournament here in DreamHack, and my computer blue screened mid tournament game. Oh, man. We unlucky. lost a round. Unlucky. Yeah, I, unlucky, exactly. Born to lose. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. It's hard. Everything else goes well. But you then just become, a, you just become a caster. Yeah, just bottom of the barrel, graveyard of pro players. How dare you? It's dark down in here. Unbelievable. Oh, well, that's how we like it, though. We wouldn't want any sunlight in here, right? Yeah. It hurts the skin. I don't. You don't get this level of pale. You don't get as pale as me by going outside. Yeah. You're ridiculous. Don't bring garlic to us, please. Exactly. Exactly. He's eating again. Still eating. He's still eating. This guy's a beast. He's got yeah. the bottomless like takeout box there. It's good. Good off his wedding a bit. Must be. It's actually quite hot in here. Yeah. It's getting hot. I think he's trying to hurry it up. It was Vague's bedtime at like eight. Oh. So. Toxic. Very <laughs> oh, really? toxic. Yeah. Oh, come on. I thought we were doing one of these guys. Come on. No, no, no that's not be too overly toxic here. Uh, uh, yeah, I saw respect that. the players. And uh, Vague is doing good job here. Um, he's he's on Rampage. And See, I shouldn't have acknowledged the dab. I'm propping up poor behavior. Yeah. Like, <laughs> now everyone's dabbing. Now now everybody's doing it. Watch. I'm sure these guys are about to do it to no, me. No, you're only encouraging them all the time. Is there sympathy? Am I given sympathy? Oh, yes, yes. No, no. My boy's there. Mind. I'm dabbing too. Yep, I got baited. All right. Uh, Oh, well. Thank you very much. This guy's a real one, though. He's not going to do it to me. Yeah. He's not going to do it. Ah, oh, what a stand-up. What a nice crew. I appreciate it. Crew is yeah, nice I'm enjoying crew. the camera work. I, I yeah. love watching it. You know, I've been watching eSports for years and years and years, and now being on the other side and seeing the, the wide, sweeping jib pans of the entire crowd, yeah. it's, uh, it's very interesting. Yeah. During the game one, I was actually sitting in the crowd, and I was always looking at the camera. Is it going to come to me? So can I appear on the camera finally? Oh, yeah. But then I had to cast. And I'm here in wow. front of the camera. That's a really sad story. Yeah. I feel I feel for you. No, no it's, it's, upsetting. it's a good story in the end. <laughs> Every story has a happy ending. <laughs> it's gonna be positive about it. PMA, positive mental attitude, smile. Always, dude. Here we have a nice view of the shiny cup. Oh yeah. I wonder who's gonna take that home. It's honestly gonna be so close. Space Station Gaming, Red Candids, uh, Impact, Young Sung. I think it's going to be four, one of them four. Oh, it's a very, very spicy top four. Yeah. I, I, you think it's going to be one of those four? Yeah. Really? It's a pretty controversial prediction. God damn it. Yeah, he's still going. <laughs> this is unbelievable. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Still eating. Oh, there's not much left. Thank you. Okay, good. As you say, he's at, he has access to a time warp to whatever yeah. food shot he bought Hyperbolic. that from. Hyperbolic. Like, yeah, you're going to have the CIA come after you for the technology <laughs> pretty soon. You better hide that thing. Endless food. They're trying to send people to Mars. <laughs> From DreamHack? Yeah, exa yeah, exactly. That was actually don't, very don't good food. Don't question it. It's okay. If we didn't have enough shots of God of and Dizzler, there's Dizzler. Maybe uh, this is going for his modeling portfolio. Who knows? It could work. It could work. Look at we, it. We met him in the stunlock office. He was wearing, he was wearing that Calvin Klein T-shirt. Yeah. I, I felt incredibly inadequate because I have the I have the arm structure oh, yeah. of like two toothpicks glued together, and then you have Dizzler <laughs> over there who is also incredibly good at battle, right? Yeah. So it's like, what do I really have? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just it's just unfortunate. It's like, how am I supposed to compete with that? Yeah. Yeah. It's just disappointing to be honest. And he has a mustache. I can't grow a facial hair. Yeah. It's upsetting, frankly. Don't worry. Don't worry, crooks. People I'll, are different. I'll grow up someday, yeah, absolutely. Some people look up to you. Oh, 
Hopefully. That's unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that. What a shame. Here we have a Sinabra <laughs> Korean team. Hopefully the issues will be fixed soon. Maybe I should step out of the camera so the game starts working. It, it does seem to work like that, doesn't it? Every time we cut the break, it's like, hey. Yeah. Is it really me what's causing these things to happen? Maybe. You, ca you cast a dark cloud over Dreamhack when you showed up. I could feel presence yeah, the presence in the air. It got the thicker. Finished magic started spell. Oh, yeah. I was sitting in the swamp and stuttering some random words. Okay. Yeah, I like I like where this banter is going. It's good. This this is this has legs. <laughs> <It's sure. like laughs> Absolutely, got some more BYOC shots. Looks good. Yeah. Whoa, what happened? Stuff is popping over at the other stage. People are excited. Oh wow. Oh, we have a view of us. We have to act accordingly. Hold oh, on. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, Hello. And the, and the, okay. We're right. A bit confused. There was hey, a up? loud yell happening from the side and. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll hear from it soon. What happened I got there. scared. It was a loud noise. Yeah. I'm like a small bird. I just psst, yeah, I when I hear that. something. Yeah. Oh. All right. We're going to cut to a short break. Uh, we'll catch you guys oh, in a bit. Oh, never mind.
We're back. Nice to see you again. I'm not going to do anything fancy. We're just going to get back into the game, all right? Good stuff. Welcome back. It was a very, hopefully, working break. I had to nudge Jolts a little bit there on stream. You don't talk after I talk. Come on, I do the game transition. We had this figured out. Come on. All right, so <laughs> talk about the game. Yeah, yeah. Do the da do dancing. Yeah, do dance. Smiley face. <laughs> it's actually going to look very good for here for Cena Bro stealing a lot of damage in the back line. Very nicely played by Puma. Red team Not a bad start for them. Look at the health of uh, Diesler. And, and just completely. Oh, wow, okay. Ultimate's coming out, getting anything done. Maddie's running away. Yeah, massive Rook ultimate. They're trying to chase after the Blossom. It's not really working. Jumong has, has really been able to set up here. And Dizzler, of course, playing very, very aggressive, trying to get in with that Varus ultimate. I love the cast time there, uh, working it off of the orb, allowing him to set up the further charges. Whiffs his counter, unfortunately, so he could be in a lot of trouble. Has the R to bail himself out, but Jumong still kind of laying on the pressure here. Vague in particular, just getting hammered over and over again through the meat eat. He tries to aggress on the Puma and gets a good amount of damage. Now Puma's going to throw the boulder. We're going to see who has to M2 first in this Rook mirror. It is going to be Vague, and he flicks it away to bait the counter. Doesn't get his own counter hit, and he's still trying to play aggressive. Some nice play by Vague, though. Yeah, this game, this round has been going for a while here, and uh, as you can see, Puma is actually now reacting to Vague's most two here and dodging it. Very nice. He, he's clearly, he's clearly feeling himself right now. What happened during the break? Oh, I don't, I don't know. Maybe he, maybe he learned even more during the break. Maybe he watched all his yeah. bots from today during the break. Maybe there was something going on with his keyboard, it's just not responding early enough. I don't know. I'm not tech support, but it's very nice to see. Puma actually uh, just like overly controlling the game. But meanwhile, Blossom going down. Of course. It's still look. If if there's still oh. two players left for impact, oh. wow, he's still reached. You're not gonna dodge that. Barely got him. That was a nice use of an ulti though. Puma seems very willing to just throw that ultimate yeah. for some for some really good damage. And I actually like Rook Ultimate quite a bit. I know there's like a stigma about using it, but I mean what a high value potential ability, especially with sort of the three iframes baked into it. Yeah. Uh, combined with that uncounterable damage, it, it hits really hard. And I like his usage of it. It feels like a good punish. Something interesting. And and it's always funny to see when when we see these Korean teams play is that their playstyle is a little bit differently, right? Like a, a little bit different in the way that it functions. So whereas you might not see NA and EU rooks use uh, use the ultimate as much, these guys are more than willing to just pull the trigger on that. Yeah, I mean, it's very nice to see. Rook's ultimate is very nice, and if you do dare to get the ultimate battle right, it can have so much value. That's a man's battle right, right yeah, there. Yeah, it is definitely. For sure. But since Rook's ultimate uh, gaining rate is quite small, you don't often see Rook's ultimate coming out. So not much of value, better options to take. Yeah, Vague's doing a better job in the front line here, sort of just farming the tree for energy over here. Gets his counter hit as well, which is always a boon for Rook. It's going to allow him to kind of do whatever he wants. Sort of chasing Blossom, trying to get on him. Not going to work out. The counter is hit, unfortunately, on the side of Puma. Doing a great job of body blocking for his teammate Blossom. And it feels like Dizzler and Vague, or, or Dizzler and Godover are actually having a slightly different type. But what a goo! Wow. Oh my gosh, that was, yeah, was absolutely Perfect filthy. collapse. Yep. Uh, had, Rook had nothing left. Then go to ultimate, lose the ultimate was enough. And with compared uh, for, Excuse me. With uh, this so ultimate, uh, uh, never mind. I'm just talking complete nonsense now. Uh, but anyways, it was a beautiful combo, and it worked out. Oh yeah, yeah. That's what I was trying to say. It's okay. Yeah. Red team wins um, I, I, I believe you. Yeah, you, you were going somewhere. That, that, that's the that's the impact right there, and it's still very nice to see Sinapro take rounds. Uh, very very impressed by them. Their performance is very good. If you're able to take rounds from Impact, you're most likely going to be able to win against other top teams. Yeah, absolutely. In battle I think in particular, we've seen them uh, at their most promising when Lobster Lifer is actually able to set up with the Jumon, you know, get the three stacks, get the Rain of Arrows online, uh, have the energy for Prowl. And they start looking uh, much, much better. I think Vague in particular seems to actually be having a little bit of difficulty against this Blossom. I like the early use of Rain of Arrows uh, as well to discourage Vague from charging in the barrier. A little bit early time by God of Vague doesn't actually take any damage. Puma M2 second, but Vague catches it with a counter, which is really nice. So he's going to continue his assault on the back lane. Great in cap on Puma to just pull out the pressure back, and Vig's just gonna regroup. Impact are gonna be looking to take the first orb. Nice bounce by Dizzler as well. Well, beautiful boom, boom coming out here from Natty, and it definitely helped out for the team to deal damage to Kodov. And and look at this. This is uh this is looking very nice. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. There's some interesting things happening here. You know what that means, Jolts? I cry every time. Banter round three. I are you ready? Please don't hurt me. Too bad. All right. Oh, wow. Look at this. It's Resident Sleeper. No, wait, that's Godof. 
moving cameraman pan has, has already yeah, got me. I, I love this dude. He's on top of it. Yeah, it's very unfortunate for the players to have technical issues, having to wait. And, and uh, as a player who's having the issues, there's not much he can do about it. It's unfortunate it's, yeah, for sure. It's not his fault. It's understandable. We have these in every games, and uh, we just gotta cope with it. It happens. it happens. What I'm really looking for is an update on Takeout Container Guy. Where is he in life? What has he achieved since we last checked in? What's the deal? What's the lowdown? Give me it. I don't know. Don't ask me. No, I'm, I'm trying to communicate. Yeah, but who's... We've got our eye in the sky over here. We need assistance. Yeah, okay? It's not a two-man job, Joel. Yeah, who's the takeout guy? The, the, the food guy. Oh, yeah, the we food need, guy. We need an update. Exactly. Yeah. The world wants to know. Yeah. It's important. I wonder. Maybe, maybe he has finally finished his endless bottom of a cup of food. We don't know. Um, anyways, you came from NA. US and A. You yes, sir. came to Finland. <laughs> Finland. Excuse me, Sweden. We are in Sweden. I'm sorry. Finland and Sweden are very similar by nature. So, um, well, anyways, what do you think about it? About like the the scenery overall? Oh, it's great here. It's beautiful. I love it. There's water everywhere. It's amazing. There's trees. It's quiet. People mind their own business. It's perfect. I don't. I don't know how to talk to people. I don't know how to relate to people. So it's awesome when just nobody bugs me on the street. You just get to walk around. It's nice. <laughs> uh, the sun's out all the time, which is great because I get woken up at 3 a.m. So there's no chance that I'm going to miss uh, the call time for DreamHack. Yeah. Which is pretty great. Yeah. To be honest, of course, no sarcasm. <laughs> uh, no, I've liked a very enjoyable experience. Yeah, it's so clean here too. Dreamhack is wonderful. People are oh, so respectful. Yeah. Everybody throws away their trash. Like, yeah. it's great. It's very nice. It's, uh, it's wonderful. We are slowly turning into a very economical world where we take care of our garbage and everything. It's very nice. Your mind might be changed when we have Dreamhack Atlanta. Oh, I, I'm, I'm <laughs> not gonna go there. <laughs> mm -mm. Oh, unfortunate. <laughs> have to find a new co-caster. Then we'll need a new face <laughs> of battle, right? Yeah, get an NA. NA yeah, you're gonna get demoted. Yeah. Yeah. There's many, many good candidates. Um, see people playing CSGO. Good game. Hey, Battle Rise is way better, though. Uh, yeah, guys. <laughs> Battle Rise is way better than CSGO. I mean, in the end, uh, you got your good teammates, and there's not that many teammates to, to play with. Which is very nice. It, it brings more people Oh, together. look at that guy with wow, the cloud, the cloud it's goggles. Moment. I like it. I like it. I like it. It's good stuff. <laughs> it is. Nice. It's news. It's a Swedish special. What Swedish is famous of. That guy looks like bad news. I guess it's up to me to carry the banter. Jolt's is getting his makeup touched up. <laughs> he looks wonderful. Thank you very much. You look very good too. Yeah, I know. It's a. It's been a very, very nice day. A very rough day and tiring day. That's Nero Sable. Yo, it's Womack. Yeah, we have Womack, the developer on the left, and Nero Sable on the right. He's actually the admin of Battle Ride Discord. So Unbelievable. If you've been banned, go talk to him. <laughs> You're allowed to do things like that. I'm well, oh, if yeah. you got banned, it's your own fault. It's true. It's true. Don't don't type stupid stuff. That's our advice yes. for the day. It's good. Yeah. Huh. This is a been a very nice day. I've entered my way on and, and time here. It's a busy day. Uh, it's been a busy day for players too, waiting for the games. Yeah, sleep is overrated. Yeah. I'll sleep when I'm dead. That's very true. And at this rate you will be dead very soon. Hell yeah. Uh, it's, it's not a threat, no, don't worry about it. It's not a threat. <laughs> not hey, can I get some help over here? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, sleep. It's especially if you're from another continent, it's gonna be very hard to sleep for. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, yes, there we go. Uh, That's my boy. Uh, <laughs> you know, I did this to my. Okay, the speed The speed is impressive. I'll give we you that. We have started okay. something the very form, impressive. The form yeah. is impressive. The speed Look, his is hair impressive. is out of okay. control, too, when he his, does that. His dab was optimized. Yeah. At least. His dab was optimized. If you keep dabbing at that speed, you will lose hair by the time you're 30 years old. Exactly. You need to you be know, careful, dude. It, 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 yeah, I'll, I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Vague's having a jolly yeah, time. Yeah, he's having fun. Or is he? What are they talking about? What do you think they were talking about? Probably the video game. Do you think they hear us? I don't know. Maybe. Well, maybe we should try something. Funny. Uh, as opposed to all this other stuff we were doing, which wasn't funny, we, sh we should try something funny for hold, a Hold up, hold up. This guy has uh, uh, sunglasses here in dark. Yeah, sunglasses You can't see inside. anything. And they're, they're doing oh, it man. again. See, you encouraged them earlier. Insane. Oh, wow, he's go. doing it faster. He's going bold. I feel like this guy's going to... Uh, don't hurt yourself, okay? <laughs> I feel like that <laughs> would be on me. <laughs> Here's the cheddar's 
Cheddar's uh, uh, sh shirt too. Again. All right. Yeah. The orange shirt. We have an we have an eclectic group in the audience. I enjoy it. Yeah. Uh, this is a very nice. Yeah, I love the community. The Battle really community good. is very nice. We are a very tight community, and uh, we we enjoy the game. All all of us. Absolutely. Our passion for the game is on the same level. Okay, some people more, some people less, right? What are you implying? Nothing. Oh, you're just gonna you're gonna choose to bail out of that. Well, sentence. not everyone is gonna like the same. Fleeing from combat. I see how it is. <laughs> yeah, that's Unbelievable. Okay. <laughs> Unbelievable. I, I see. Understood. Understood. No, no, no. Oh, All right. Hey, go off. Hey, go off. Go off. Go off. Oh. Oh, wrong way. We're communicating with him. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, that's my boy. We're going to have a good game, dude. And Joey. <laughs> nah, he's such a nice guy. <laughs> oh, I It's Liz. Go Liz drove us here. It was nice. Liz. Hey. So, uh, Godov said that on the last night he's going to be here in Sweden. He's going to drink the whole night. And... I believe it. He's, he said he's going to sleep on the train. That's probably fine. Like I can't tell him This otherwise. guy, he does that. After a long tournament, he's just going to go all out, man. Just all he's out. going to take all the enjoyment out. That's how you need to do it. Really confused about what's going on here, but it's okay. We're just going to play it off. Yeah. It's fine. Hi, show cameraman. Must, show, must go on. show must go on. It's very nice to see the crowd. It's like they're looking at us. They don't know if you're looking at them. Exactly. I get to remove all my social anxiety of having people look at me, too. Oh, yeah, I should be, always. I'm behind the stage the whole time, so yeah. I'm not actually actively being looked at by yeah. people, which is wonderful because, you know, usually I just can't make eye contact. I'm just here to talk about video games. Yeah. So this is actually perfect for me. <laughs> the good of space, though. It's... Hello. Yes, there you are. Oh, what's up, dude? Oh, yeah, my goodness. Him. It's nice a Fortnite one. dance. Oh, no. I'm gonna wanna just one of you, dude. Who is that? Is that Ninja? I don't know. Is that Ninjas? Is that oh, Ninjas uh, from Fortnite? <laughs> no, it's not. Oh. It's we, ha ninja. we had Ninjas from Fortnite backstage, right? That's the one everybody talks about, right? Did we? Oh, yeah, we did actually. Yeah, ninja, Ninjas from the Fortnite. The player from Young Sung. Yeah, Ninjas, the Young Sung player from Fortnite. No. I, oh, he <laughs> has actually played Fortnite, and he's pretty good in it. Ninjas, but, like, Ninjas, ninjas is, is good in everything what he ninjas does. Ninjas is inhuman, dude. Yeah, he's It's amazing. unbelievable. And it's, it's gonna be very good to see. Young Sung Ninjas play on stream and with rare people. Both of these players, uh, they have incredible reflexes and they react with hyping. And, and it's just so we're only like good players. It's very nice to see them playing. But all right, we're going to be cutting to a short break right now as we make a decision on what's going on. Uh, stay tuned for more banter potentially.
All right, so we are back. Absolutely, and uh, well, for all intents and purposes, Impact is up four to two. So if they close out one more round, they are going to be closing out this uh, second game of the series. As we see, Impact sort of aggressing here. Puma, of course, uh, uh, sort of panicked off to the side there. Dizzler's going to receive a boulder directly to the face. Impact a little bit scattered right now. That being said, Vague has a decent amount of energy to work with. Dizzler, of course, positioning very aggressively as he does. Bit of an issue. Correction, yeah. The game is three two for Impact right now, and uh, unfortunately, it's not, it's not showing in the score. So keep that in mind. Blue team has taken the orb. Yep. Be, it's a, maybe, maybe right now uh, this break is what they needed to recover, to find out a way to turn it out. Oh, maybe not. Oh, Big smash. Puma goes down in the Rook's ultimate. Very nice to see. Meanwhile, Blossom just slowly turning into dust. Another one bites the dust. Yeah, they, this was a very nice run from Impact. Uh, they, they definitely uh, did some stuff here. For sure. Okay, so Impact has uh, closed out that map officially. Uh, we're just going to call it there. I guess after some technical issues, uh, no problem. They're going to clean that one up. Good stuff, I suppose. All right. <laughs> so we'll be taking you uh, to the third map in the series coming up. Uh, should be, I guess, interesting to watch. We've seen Impact just be so. so dominant. They're playing something yeah. clearly they know how to play. They're just going to you know, figure out what this is, and it'll be interesting to see if the Korean team alters their comp at all. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so we're back, managing the lobby in a bit of an awkward situation. Uh, once again, I am Crooks. With me is the face of Battle Raid himself, Jolts, managing things over there on the keyboard. Yeah. At uh, the moment, I don't know how to use this. A computer. What a development. Uh, it, it's a joke. All right. We're just uh, having fun here. Crooks is trying to make fun out of me all every day <laughs> into the internet and in real life. You're saying that like it's it isn't a war. You're saying it like it isn't working. I'm confused. Look, just just you wait. He made it to BPL. So worst case scenario for him is that I'm gonna be the one who wins him in a match. No, it's not gonna happen. Why do you shake your head? I know noble esports, dude. You're crazy. Just watch out. Ooh. Just watch out. Ooh. It's gonna be good. Beautiful. There we go. So we'll be getting into the next game very soon. Um, impact, of course. Looking just solid. Again, like yeah. we've seen, just solid play all around. Uh, Vague on Rook, of course, just goes in, doesn't come out till you're dead or he's dead. I respect the strategy. Yeah. Of course, very aggressive. Uh, I think it's unlikely that they're going to be altering anything. It's also unlikely that they're going to be showing off anything they'll be playing uh, in future tournaments. I think they feel they have a, a relatively good grip of what's going on here. Uh, we, you know, you and I are privy to maybe some things that they could potentially flex to in the future. And thinking about the flexibility of impact is, of course, like a really interesting aspect of watching oh, them yeah. play. And uh, I don't know, going going forward a little bit further into the bracket, it'll, it'll be fun to see how they adapt it. And hopefully, you know, if they make it to day two here, yeah. those will be the really exciting games. That'll be yeah. when the big guns come out, the big draft guns Definitely. come out. As I said earlier, there's no way that the players have shown everything what they got already. Yeah. They're, they're hiding it for the big games, the semifinals and finals, whoever makes it there. Um, there's going to be very good games happening. Some very strange battle ride, what we have probably never seen before. I'm, I'm expecting that. I'm expecting that. Really? I feel like we've already gotten that. I mean, just with Red Cannons oh, today yeah, Red alone, Cannons. We, we've seen new Battle right for, for um, like the North American and European audiences, at least. Things have happened that we never really thought were possible. Sort of these double support comps taking off in such a way. The play style uh, that Red Cannons adopted to actually take down SSG there, where they just oh, said, yeah. okay, you know, you're very aggressive. We'll just seed the orb every single game. It's fine. Yeah. You can have it. Don't need it. You know, you take it. Indeed. Not it, required. It, it, it just whoosh. They just pulled the legs out of them, uh, under them, and they, they were able to like figure out what went wrong, how to deal with this. It, it, I actually heard others say that the the playstyle of the South America is is very different from, from what they played against. Mm -hmm. It's very overly aggressive, and with double support, it's like wow. Yeah, how do, how does that even come yeah. together? You know, in practice, but you watch it and it, and it works great. So. It, it'll be interesting to see how all of this stuff sort of transitions, especially since players, you know, we will have seen every team play a, a, a couple of games today. So it'll be interesting sort of looking at what nuggets people are able to pick yeah. out from that and understand and, and develop, you know, how they feel about each of these teams a little bit more. Their, their expectations going into day two, I think we'll really see things evolve. We're going to be getting into the game right now. Getting ready for that. Um, the picks are locked in. It's looking like on the side of Cinebro, we are going to have Rook Blossom and Jumong yet again. And on the side of Impact, I would imagine that there may not have been a comp change, but I guess we'll see. Currently, we have Lucy, Varish, 
and it's looking like Thorn from Dizzler, so we are going to see the Vague Farish. I remember when I was first getting into watching competitive battle right a little while ago, Vague was one of the first players I ever saw uh, that was doing stuff that I thought was was really, really interesting and innovative in a lot of ways, and on that, and that was on Varish, and that was a hero that at the time, when I was just some platinum scrub, I didn't know anything. Watching him play Varish was kind of like, yeah. very interesting, the way he positioned, the way he played very aggressively with a ranged hero, which is sort of unconventional at the time, and still in a lot of ways is a little bit unconventional. Yeah, absolutely, uh, and, and we talked about earlier how uh, Jurgen is like one of the top Varishes, but then you have like Aklo, yeah, from South America, also playing in Varish and Beg. Like they, this tournament has three very good Varish players, mm -hmm. and and they all have a different play style. And I've, I think Beg might be the most aggressive out of them all. Yeah, for it's sure. Just in his mentally, he just wants to go in and win the game. It's just how he is. Yeah, that's how it is. I think Varish is a cool hero though because his battle right choices are so versatile. They can really change the way the character is played. They can actively change the strength of the hero based on what you're yep. picking. So it really lends itself well at, just as a character design uh, for people who have vastly different play styles because you can really build the hero based on what you're trying to do in a team comp. Yep. Which I think is sort of the essence of what makes battle rights a, a cool mechanic, right? Is that ideally you're able to, to build for the situation. And we're going to be going into the game right now. Get hyped. Third game, we're headed at you. All right, and we're getting into a third game of Cinebro versus Impact. Of course, you have the team comps up on your screen. screen. Cinebro not making any alterations, though we are going to see Dizzler on that Thorn this time. Vague, of course, flexing to the Varish. I think Impact is showing off their hero pool here. Do you think so? Yeah, they're just switching it up, show off. That's, that's what they do. Uh, when it turns into a very hard game, that's when you start to see very some strange stuff coming out, but this is like... Impact switching heroes in a best of five is it, very normal. Uh, they just do it for the fun to change it up for them. Just because they can? Yeah. Man, just vague down can. at the bottom of the map, you gotta pay attention to the way this guy is handling the Rook on the side of Puma. It just feels like he has complete control over it. Playing aggressive, hopping wow. over that Lucy Goo to go find that Blossom, and Impact yeah. already have secured a kill. That was a very nice ultimate combo coming out, and uh, uh, actually, uh, I played my Rook against this team from right here where the Impact is running. And, and it's very frustrating because there will be ultimate for God of all the time and this is going to wait with the ultimate and what they're going to do is just either Thorn or Lucy is going to ultimate the, the Rook and Rook has to use space to get out but then there's another ultimate coming for you what you're going to do there yeah it's going to sit there and tank a lot of damage and it's just like they are very patient with it and they are looking for that kill window Personally, I love the way that sort of Lucy and Varish comps can uh, use their abilities to coordinate together. I think those two heroes have a lot of natural synergy in competitive threes, either with two really beefy barriers that you can put on people to absorb a lot of damage. And also, you know, you have things like the corruption, uh, the Lucy panic, which can lead into a silence, into a shatter. They have all sorts of really interesting setups, and you combine that with Thorn, and it's all just multiplied. Oh, yeah. The, the, the overall, the team or the impact is playing right now, it's a, 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 their core is very strong. It's very defensive comp, and they also have a lot of damage, as we can see. They're just able to push Blossom out, and, and, and just out damage him, but the ultimate oh. coming out, that was big, beautiful. Lobster Lifer, he's hitting those ultimates, he's, he's getting them work. Dizzler being pushed back because he lost a, a pretty significant chunk of his HP, but he is holding on to that ultimate right now, so we'll see what he can do with it. Rook, of course, he's pretty much waiting for the enemy Rook in Puma to use his M2, and he has now. I'm surprised Dizzler didn't go for the ult. There he goes, firing it off the tree. Very, very smart, guaranteeing that first hit. They deal a lot of damage there, and Dizzler, of course, landing that swaggy shatter, catching Blossom as she was feared away, like we were talking about. A really nice panic combo there. Dizzler gonna throw out that Thorn ultimate as well. Split the team in half. There's not too much Puma and Lobster Life we're gonna be able to do at the end of the round here, and it's gonna be 2-0 impact. Yep. Do you think this game will be 5-0? I think so. I think Impact, uh, you hit the Enrage button a little bit. You know what I mean? We had a couple of pauses. Now uh, Father Godof is, uh, is, not, is not so happy. It's time, it's time to go. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's time to go. As you said earlier, it's time for Vague to go sleep. Exactly. It's past Vague's bedtime. Godof's just being responsible. Yeah. That's, that's, that's a good team. It's objectively right the right decision. Yeah. It's a good Grand team dad. The team. Exactly. So, well, I think so too. I'm going to be honest. I think it's going to be 5-0 for Impact unless... Uh, they are going to show something amazing here. 
Dizzler or Vague's getting uh, hit pretty hard. It seems like Vague, just as a player, is pretty much okay with that. He's okay with taking a hell of a lot of damage early in the game. Nice damage mitigation onto Lobster Library here. Look at that combo. He just traded about two thirds of his HP just to try and land a couple of black arrows. And Dizzler, of course, following up with the Thorn, pulled a combo onto Jumong. He just can't get a break here. Yeah. There's not much Xenoverse able to do here. Uh, oh, wow. That was a beautiful counter, though, from, from Boom, and just taking the uh, Petrify there. Did you know that uh, Rook's ultimate actually gets blocked by Thorn's ultimate? Really? Yeah, it does. It does. I didn't know Rook's ultimate it. was a projectile. Or it's classified as a projectile. It is, yeah, it's classified as a projectile, but it does. It gets blocked by uh, Thorn's ultimate, but it can go through Chrono Fluxes and. I thought it could go through like older bubble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, it, it, that's it, very strange. It works in a strange way. Yes, uh, it's like a crack on the ground, right? Yeah. So how does that? I guess the roots go deep into the ground. You know, like. Thinking. But I'd have to. I'd have to see the lore. I'd have to see the lore for myself. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I'd have to read up on the ability. Three, two, three out for impact. One, Looking five. strong. Of course, the combos again. Their synergies. You can really admire it in a situation like this. Look at the confidence with which Vague just moves into the center of the map here. He's not afraid of and any man that we see here on stage right now. I love his uh, his accuracy with Shatter. So good. Look at that setup. Working off of Dizzler. Nicely timed barbed house as well to negate all the Jumong damage. And they're going to be looking to go hard on Blossom. Yeah. Probably the moment he tries to use his space. Dizzler might be looking to disengage a little bit as he's hit the Jumong trap. And he's kind of out of cooldowns right now. Perfectly timed space. Dodging Puma's rush here as well. We now Vague's really going to open up a nicely placed bomb right back into the goo. And they're just going to drag him back again. Wow. Puma going to escape barely. That's holding that, counter. Yeah, that's that's exactly what I was talking about. The impact is just holding their ultimate for Rook. And, and full control on Rook and, uh, well, here we, they were able to kill Natty first, but it also takes a lot of pressure away from the players when they know this, okay, Rook has low HP, he's not going to be able to do anything, let's just kill other player. Another Absolutely. Target. I think you can learn a lot from, from watching a, a team play, even if there is a bit of a skill imbalance, you know, because you can see the things that they do. And it's really so much more, I, I think, being a good team is about sort of establishing that baseline that you play with, you know what I mean? And Impact, to me, their baseline has always been very high. Their sort of guaranteed level of performance yeah. very, very high. And it, and it looks like it here. They're really synergizing while they're playing to their outs very well. And I think, like I said, now that they're uh, maybe a little bit... Uh, Three. They, they don't have any desire to play with their food, you know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely not. They, they want to get this done quick, and they, they just check you, secure this very, very quickly. What do you think the uh, over-under chances are of a keyboard failure right about now? Please, no. Too edgy? <laughs> Back to the game. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hope that uh, doesn't happen. Uh, meanwhile, these are just standing in the rain of arrows and the shield on, not taking any damage. And as you can see, uh, the Varish, oh, excuse me, Vague is the Varish here. Yeah. So Varish here has corruption on both DPS targets, and what that means is that the damage is reduced by 15% what they are dealing. It's very big in the long run. Yep, as Impact, once again, just kind of invading their spawn. Even God off on the Lucy, playing incredibly aggressive. Jumong trying to open up on him, but look at the Lucy movement here, just sidestepping all those arrows. Dizzler's taking a decent amount of damage, though. They've got that Lucy barrier on deck. However, Blossom's going to be very hard to mess with right now. He's sitting on almost full HP, and Dizzler's going to be extremely open after he comes out of that burrow. He's holding onto the barb test. He has the shield battle right, but they're actually going to manage to kill Dizzler here. So this is right. looking like this is a round that's not going to go in Impact's favor. Uh, you jinxed it. You were wrong. You said 5-0. Or were you talking about last game still? Oh. Oh, well, you, you dodged this one. Yeah. Well, well, still very, very well played from Xenobro, hitting the round. Not too bad. Uh, no keyboard failure this time. And they were able to get it. <laughs> very nice. Beautiful collapse. <laughs> I believe they are very, very fun guys. Xenobro guys, very dedicated to improve and also very fun to hang out in real life also. Three, very nice guys. Two. I think in general that was just another round of a little bit of over-aggression by Impact, but once again we see Vague just move up with that barrier, not giving them an ounce of space. Uh, a Lobster Lifer there using that early space on Jumong, he's really going to pay for it in his life here. He has no Prowl, he has no space available. Look at Dizzler just beat the hell out of him, and he has the Judgment applied. Really no chance. I like the double M2 there is actually going to deal a decent amount of damage to Impact, but the entire time, you know, Godov just sitting at top. Uh, completely unbothered by the enemy team. He's going to attempt wow. to confirm the orb. Godov's just going to sneak that one from him with a nice little toxic bolt. Yeah. Uh, uh, Blossom actually saved herself by with the, with the arc by the right, throwing the gust away and pushing herself away. And it definitely is working out here. But look at this. Puma just standing in everything with Enrage on. And not, not dying. That's, that's very nice. That's working in a nutshell. They actually accidentally hit his counter when he was in a goo, in yeah. goo too. So a little bit of a misplay from Impact. Uh, Dizzler going to get 
oh, has the barb tusk. He's going to be able to space out. The lobster <gasps> life is just going to go for the ulti on the orb. He's barely surviving his dizzler. He's got to be a little bit careful. He's got up as well. He's stuck in the rain of arrows, and he's been trapped. Well time clarity on him, as well as a nice fear on Puma. In the meantime, Vague kind of unsuccessfully dealing a uh, dueling blossom, and it looks like Impact might actually manage to drop yeah. another round here. 5 2. I mean, 4 2, excuse me. Uh, I, I got ahead of myself. Maybe that's going to be the end score. I don't know. Hopefully, I'm wrong. It would be very nice to see Zinabro take a round. A game from Impact. You have high hopes, Vic. I have high hopes. I do believe these guys are improving all the time. Oh, absolutely. They're, they're learning. Uh, who knows? If, if they win this game, how, how good they will be in the game next after that? <laughs> what are you shrug shrugging for? I don't know. Yeah, I, don't I, don't know. To, I don't know what to give you. Yeah. Uh, I'm positive. I, I do believe. I, I believe in the player spirit and mentality of becoming becoming the best. And these guys are joking around. Oh, absolutely. I, I think these guys have already shown that they can they can come out and play things with a, a lot of efficiency. I think the Blossom pick here is interesting. Impact in particular. Oh, no, Dizzler is getting down. absolutely beaten up. What's going on here? Vegas just kind of watching his teammate here. die. Wow. Yeah, exactly. We have a real game here. Look at this. And again, Lobster Life taking the middle middle orb, no problem, pushing God of away. But not right now, Puma has nothing. Is he able to tank this ultimate? Oh, no, no it's looking very grim for him. Oh. oh, beautiful EX3 coming out from Blossom. Maybe that is able to. But meanwhile, Lobster Life is losing the trade very hard against the Vague Varish here. Yeah, Vic actually managed to come out ahead in sort of that Varish versus Jumong duel. Not something you see too often. Puma, of course, whiffs his counter. Now they should just be able to open up. Right. He has no counter and no wow. M2, but Dizzler has died. Vic's got to try and make this kill happen right now with Godov. Godov whiffs the deadly inject. He does manage to land that one. This should be Rook's death. No, he dinks the counter. He got wow. greedy, went for that last M1, and that could make it so they Stone. can't confirm the kill. They still managed to get it. Ooh. That was an intense round for sure. Very well done from Impact. Turning around and, and Godov just completely fighting against the rook. That was very unfortunate. He hit a counter. He could have been ahead of himself, a bit greedy. Yeah. That happens. He wanted that one extra M1 here. So it is going to be Impact yeah. clearing this one up. 3 0. A little bit of uncertainty. What, a, what an incredible series. We really got to, got to shine on that one, Jolts. I think we got to show our particular strength. And we are going to have a player from Impact show up for yeah. the interview with us. Should be exciting. It's, it will be exciting. I wonder if it's going to be Wake. I don't know who's the who's the team captain for Impact. I think it's gonna be Godof. Godof yeah, probably. Team Dad. It would make sense, right? It makes sense. Grandpa. Godof. Grandpa Godof. Was that Grandpa? Grandpa Godof. Godof Grandpa. No, that sounds wrong. This is. Uh, this will go there. We gotta work on the flow yep. a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, for sure, for sure. But it, it's nice spirit here. Yep. Greeting and handshaking the players. Everybody shaking Keep hands. GG, well played. Try your best. Uh, these guys, hopefully we see them, see them in Season 2. Yeah, of course. Well, they came far to get yeah. here, and uh, they definitely showed us you know, what they're made of. We have Godov over here, emerging victorious. Going to have him up here for the interview once we get it all coordinated. Oh, we got the microphone. Get in here. Grandpa Godov, keep the microphone What's close up? to your face when you talk. Yeah, so, good? how are you feeling about that series? Yeah, it was it was kind of weird with all the the breaks and stuff, but I mean it, it went well. Like we had a we had a good read on what they were what they were gonna play. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so yeah, uh, we we were pretty comfortable playing yeah. it. I think as far as uh, playing against some of the Korean teams, because I know at this point you've actually had quite a lot of experience uh, against them. As you know, we were in a LAN cafe a couple yeah, yeah. of days ago. You got to get in some early scrims against them. What's something you notice that you think they do particularly well that you really enjoy watching? Like, they, like they have. They, they cycle their cooldowns a lot better than most like European teams, like the, the mm -hmm. defensive cooldowns on the other side and like yeah, just the way they cycle that is really good. Yeah. Um, I think and like they, they have really good mechanics as well, but I think the, the thing that they, they lack is like being able to adapt faster. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and yeah. And yeah, like, yeah, I think that's uh, that's why we beat them. Yeah, now as far as uh, with your team in particular, seeing uh, a lot of different, you know, all different players on your team being willing to play different roles and flex to a lot of different comps, is that something that you think is going to kind of propel you a lot further in the tournament than other team is the fact that, you know, Vague can play yeah, melee, I mean, he can play range DPS. Yeah, I mean, it, it makes the, the draft phase easier for us, mm -hmm. uh, for sure, because like it, like if, if we pick something that we have multiple people that can play, we have like a lot of options um, to go with our second and third pick. Yeah, absolutely. So, so it, obviously, it obviously helps a lot. Does the face of battle right have any questions to ask Grandpa Godov over here? Team Dad? Well, 
you must be the guy who keeps your team mentally in check. Yeah, yeah. I, I try to do it at least. Yeah, it's very nice. Must be very nice to team with you. Yeah, Grandpa. Yeah, yeah I like to team with yeah. you as well, man. So, All right, yeah. they. Is it, is, it, is it it? That's been our series winner, Godof. Yeah. Some yeah. fabulous insight. We'll catch you later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tomorrow, Congratulations. Tomorrow, big games. Yeah, yeah, see you, dudes. What a nice guy. It's getting pretty hyped in the stage behind us. Yeah. Let me tell you. It is. Unbelievable. And we've got more good battle right headed up. We got uh, Young Sung versus Black Dragons yeah, coming gonna up. Be, that's going to be a banger. That's going to be an interesting best of five. I, I'm very excited to see what South America has to offer with their other team that's here to represent. Oh, yeah. I think that's going to be.